uh, I'll make um, my presentation snappier then. Um, be, uh, today I'm standing here, um, also this represents postdoc work that I did a number of years ago on the WeChange project that was an ERC project led by Marianne von Remortel in the English Literature Department at Ghent University. Uh, and one of uh, the project's aspects of the project there was enabling linked open data for the linking of historical women editors of periodicals. Uh, and something that we developed there with a the team is this linked data application or linked data stories. So if I could please ask you, if you're on your phones or your computers, um, to load this website so you can see these linked data stories. It is, um, needs some time because uh, the, it is not used to having, let's say how I assume around at least 50, 60 of you will be trying to access it at the same time. So be patient with her. Um, but I will continue my talk and I hope um, that it loads shortly for you. Um, but um, again, this was developed with a team of researchers. So Marianne von Remortel as the PI, uh, Peter Jan de Potter um, from the Ghent Center of Digital Humanities, as well as the Science Stories team, um, as well as lots of contributors um, that gave us lots of different input um, throughout the project at the Wikibase workshop in 2019. Um, and our team of postdocs and PhDs that of course contributed to the database that eventually got put on Wikidata so that we could thus show you that. Um, so stories are very important for recounting the past and we had the question within this project is how can we make these stories of these women editors of the past, this is specifically women editors of periodicals um, within Europe from 18th and, 7th and 19th centuries. There are some exceptions to that, but that's the majority of the database. Um, and how can we not only make these available to the public, but also for researchers? And that the researchers had one place uh, to come if they were looking for information on women editors of periodicals in this period. And then more technical question was, how could we do this with the help of linked data? And also how can we use the affordances of linked data or machine readable data um, so that a human can also access and view these stories? So um, I'm gonna actually skip through some of these two. Make it a bit quicker for you. Um, in any case, um, so what we had was a team of researchers that went into the archive um, and were looking at either different uh, periodicals, women editors, networks of editors, time periods, uh, and started um, contributing to one database. Um, so we had this textual information, which we then converted to data. We did this in an object-oriented relational database, which used a JSON-LD uh, as a structural framework, where we had information on the periodical, bibliographical information on the editors, contextual data, and then textual data if it was available, and of course, all of those relations between it. Um, if you'd like to have some insight in uh, to what that data model looks at, uh, you can also find that on the WeChange website, not with the stories hashtag, but one step before that, um, where you can find very detailed information on the model, the data models that we use and the ways that we categorized um, and structured this data. Key to this, um, when we would identify an uh, editor or a periodical, we would also um, integrate the data models of VIF, ISSN, I ISNI as well, um, any way that, that would also s serve as uh, an external uh, verification of who these authors were or periodicals. Uh, we knew at that time it was a closed database, but we knew that we were going to make it public. So that was very important um, for validation in a second step. Um, once we, um, the project was nearing an end, uh, we decided that we wanted to map our WeChange database, this closed data, relational database that we had, to Wikidata. And so what we did was we had a week with the team where we mapped the data from the relational database to the Wikidata ontology, um, and we used the Wikidata integrator to import this data. Um, then, of course, the Science Stories team developed then an app 
over this um, pulling the Wikidata information that not only was from the WeChange project, but also other publicly um, identified sources. And that's where the ESNI and the VIF authority um, data or the identifiers were important because those already existed in Wikidata as well. So that um, served as uh, another way to disambiguate who these authors and periodicals were um, since those external identifiers were already represented in there. That ensured, of course, the quality of the data and also allowed us to find anomalies uh, in this uh, importation um, process. Um, as you can see, that also allowed us, if the app has loaded or if you want to look at it at home, um, we have on the left-hand side a number of different uh, ways that you can view this publicly available data. And that's what we call these stories. So not only the data that the machine can read, but presenting it to humans in a way that they can access this. So here we see the, a media gallery which has been pulled. We did not have media in our original database, but we can pull any publicly available data that also is using these external um, identifiers to identify, yep, this is a source that represents our women editor or a specific editor. Um, we also have a bookshelf where you can see the publications um, that they have either worked on as editors or published themselves. And of course, um, because through Wikidata, but also in making this data public, we can also bring together other authority information in one space. So again, the linked data story serves as a way for us to use machine readable data for humans to read linked data stories, but also as a portal for a researcher um, to access specific information about women um, periodical editors um, during this specific period. Um, so, in conclusion, if it wasn't clear, and also to reiterate what uh, Brecht said, uh, making um, our data, our information about the historical past, in this case, um, available as linked data provides so many different advantages, opportunities, and challenges um, that uh, we have new ways of exploring this information and also finding um, more sources and different sources in different libraries and archives, um, which all is there by, yeah, by combining these and where these um, identifiers are key to making this match. Um, so I will end with that. I would be happy to answer any of your questions. And um, yeah, I'd love if you would want to explore the app that we developed and if you have any feedback on that. The project is also working on um, building a similar app, but from the view of the periodical. So instead of thinking about women as, wink, uh, as the linked data story, um, pulling these QIDs, pulling the property IDs um, from the view of the periodical. Also, the PI of the project is joining us online. So if you have any content questions, she would be happy to answer them as well. Thank you so much.